DaVinci Resolve is incredible, but if you're just making YouTube videos, it might be completely overkill. Hear me out before you light up the comments, because if your goal is to post faster, grow your channel and keep your workflow lean, there's a very real chance Resolve is actually holding you back. DaVinci Resolve has earned its reputation. It's a professional grade editor. You get Hollywood level color tools, Fusion for motion graphics and VFX, Fairlight for audio mixing, all in one app. And the free version is already a beast. But here's the trap. With all that power comes complexity. And if you're a solo YouTube creator, especially if you're still building your channel, the time spent figuring out nodes, caching, or render settings is time you're not spending making videos. With all the tutorials and courses out there, you may be learning a studio pipeline for single camera talking head videos. Let's be real. 90% of YouTube creators need a fast, clean workflow. Cut quickly, drop in B-roll, clean up audio, add music, maybe throw in some text graphics, that's it. At the core, you need speed, you need reliability, and you need to post consistently. Because YouTube isn't about perfection, it's about the momentum. Now, to be very clear, if you love the craft of color, and if your content demands high-end motion graphics or VFX, and if you're an indie filmmaker who uploads to YouTube, then DaVinci Resolve is absolutely the right tool. The free version alone gives you more power than most paid editors on the market. But here's the thing, if you're not using 80% of its features, that power becomes clutter. It's like using a Ferrari to deliver Uber Eats. Cool, but totally unnecessary. If you're a solo creator, or you're pumping out weekly content, a lighter editor might make more sense. Final Cut Pro is blazing fast on Macs. Premiere works great if you're tied to Adobe. Even CapCut or iMovie get the job done with basic edits. And your software of choice shouldn't be the reason you don't upload. But if you are using Resolve and you're feeling overwhelmed, the key is don't try to learn the whole thing at once in one sitting. Learn it task by task. Just focus on the next thing you need to do. You need to fade audio? Learn just that. You need to zoom in a clip? Learn that. When you need to do something and you don't know how to do it directly, search for that thing specifically. You don't have to master the whole thing just to start making great content. Think of it like Lego, one brick at a time. That's how I learned it. That's how most do it as well. But the real friction is not that Resolve has too many features. It's that when something goes wrong, there are too many ways to fix it. Because you can Google an issue and suddenly have a maze of options. You clear the cache, change the timeline resolution, switch codecs, switch the color settings, disable fusion render, update your drivers. There's five videos with five answers and now you're just confused because it's unclear which fix actually works and you may have changed settings that then changed the project which causes new problems and you're stuck trying to fix those down the line. So here are some basic solutions. Stick to one trusted source when searching for fixes. Use a test project to try settings before touching your real work. Don't panic, take a breath, you're not alone. I've been there as well. So is DaVinci Resolve overkill for YouTube? Yes, completely. If you're doing simple edits, need to post fast and don't want to constantly troubleshoot, then it's overkill. Also know if you love fine control, cinematic colors, or are building higher end productions. DaVinci Resolve is something that you can definitely grow into and start utilizing more and more tools as you learn them task by task. So you need to ask yourself, is the editing software helping me ship more videos faster or is it slowing me down? Because at the end of the day, it's your content that matters, not the tool you use to create it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Are you using Resolve? Have you switched to Resolve? What actually helps you create faster? And if you want a brutally honest comparison between Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve, check out this video. As always, thanks for watching.